What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week. All right, guys, we're going back to the moon. And uh, this photo's been circulating around quite a bit. Now, I had done a video about the same area of the moon uh, back in 2018, and I want to show you that right now. And uh, I got quite a bit of hits on it because what's in the photo is astounding. It's really good stuff here. Um, and I want to show you this. And then we're going to go over this um, area again, but slightly different angle and a little closer in. Let's have a look. Okay. First of all, I got this photo originally from this site here. It's the Chameleon uh, plus Anjala Observatories. And basically what it is is these astronomers that have their own little buildings to, to house their telescopes and stuff like that. Uh, some of them are not using more than a 14 inch, maybe uh, slightly smaller. And this one here says, in difference to all other images of this atlas, the images were taken with a six inch uh, Zeiss APQ refractor using a uh, two times multiplication actually astrophysics Barlow lens at local length of 2.400 millimeters right now all images on this page were taken just a few hours before the full moon on September 28th 2015 short before the start of the total lunar eclipse in the early morning and it says the image to the left is a mosaic of 15 segments and it says right here, just five hour before the beginning of the lunar eclipse. So that's pretty interesting. All right. So what you want to do is you click on it. And this is what you get. It's actually upside down because that's the way most images are in a telescope. And when you click on it, you can see it right here. I don't know if you can see my, I'm going to show you my cursor here in the black. And then I'm going to just go over here, right here. We get the Pasadonius crater right here. And this is the little area I was showing you. And I'm going to show you that in a second on my video. Um, in fact, we can go to right now. Okay, so here it is right here in my video, and you can see right here was in February 3rd, 2018. You guys want to look at this uh, video, like I said, uh, because you can see right here, it's uh, got quite a bit of hits on this because of the stuff that's in there. We're going to see this again, but more up close, as well as what you won't see in this video I'm about to do is this one here, uh, and I'm going to show you right in this area here. And you can see what looks like this weird structure with the base to it, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and put a filter on it. But you can see the shape of this foundation of this structure right there. So, again, have a look at this. I'll give you the link to this video, guys, because this is awesome. You guys got to have a look at this one as well. Many, many crazy things to see in it. All right. This is the one I did right here, and you can check this out. This is much closer in. All right. To me, and I, I, I don't know about you guys, when I see this right off the bat, this appears to be off the ground. Looks like there's objects in here. And there's actually a real, real faint circle right here. And it looks like it actually goes underground under the lunar surface. You see that? Now, there's a couple other things in here. And I'm going to show you guys much better. Check this out. This is cool. This so-called crater will actually have you believe in that this is much more than just natural lunar uh, surface, right? Or some kind of weird little crater. Okay, let's zoom into that right here and you may say oh man i don't see anything of any value on this wait until you see the actual cleaned up version of it there's something over here actually there's a whole lot of some things over here and some of the stuff i can't even see because unless you enhance it you can't even see this stuff look at the size of this look how much this is almost like a uh, almost looks like a hanger we'd see here on earth right look at the size of that you can almost see like a line to it right there look at the size of that and the things that are surrounding it you say to yourself, wow, how can anybody mistake any of these uh, these objects for craters? Okay, let's go ahead and fully enhance this. Okay, now check this stuff out. Again, here's that area. And it almost appears to be off the ground. You guys see that? It looks like it has a distance off the ground right here. There's also something right there. You can just see a fine line. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's right here. Almost circular. You guys see that at all? Right there. You can see I'm just going to circle it. And the actual line's inside of it. Okay? Now, what I find interesting is that it almost looks like this goes actually under inside the, or under and in, inside the uh, lunar surface. Now, does it? I don't know. But it kind of looks that way, unless, of course, all this stuff is simply inside this, uh, this crater, and that's it. But also, I want you to take note about that object is like this. It does this. Okay, nice and round. But take note of the lines that are in it. Let me go ahead and take that those off. See the lines? Right there. Okay. And again, this appears to be off the ground. Okay. All right. 
Let's bounce over to the other one I told you about, that weird-looking crater thing, right? Uh, just cool stuff, guys. Again, this is it right here. This is it right here. Look at this. Come on, guys. Who looks at that and says, oh, yeah, that's, that's just natural. Look at this object. One, two, this right here. Okay. Got something on top. And what looks like something triangular right here. See that? Got to shop it up, but you get that weird fuzziness kind of thing going on with it. But look at the other objects that are all over the place. Look at this. Okay. Let's back up just a hair bit. Let's go in the back here. This is this is also interesting. This area right here alone. I don't know what's going on in this crater. What it looks like is like there's a whole lot of something going on in here. Because when you look at this, you see things at the top here. Things at a lower level. Things at a lower level. And all the way down to the bottom of it. Do you guys see that? Check that out. Okay. Objects over here. Right in here. Check this out. That's a nice looking dome, isn't it? Literally going up like this, coming back down. Do you remember the last video I did? Okay. That had what looked like these weird objects that were like this. There was two of them down on the ground. And we were looking down at them. Doesn't it look eerily familiar? Just like that. Um, something right there. I said, there seems to be a whole lot of something going on inside this, this crater. A lot of you guys have suggested that maybe it's all mining. Whether it is, I don't know. You can go down to areas like this. Look at this thing here. Whatever that is, looks like it's actually overhanging. This so-called crater. See that? Pause this any way you like. So you can have a better look. Just have a look at this area alone. Okay? Just this area alone. And I'm going to go ahead and outline it so you guys can really have a look. Right here. You can pause it right here. And just look at the little things all inside these areas. Where I put slightly whiter areas. You can see it all running this way. I'm going to go ahead and get that back off there. Just have a look in this area alone. It's incredible how much stuff is really in here. Again, have a look at the, all the little pieces that are in here. These pads. Some are octagon shaped. This thing right here. This object right here. This, this I found pretty interesting because this area right here. This thing almost looks like it almost hangs off. This right here. Okay. You've got this piece right here. It looks like it's doing this. You've got this area right here. And it appears that it's literally this area here is on top of that. And you can see what looks like this little pieces here, going like this here, okay? And everything else in between, guys. Look at this. All of these these objects. Let me just back up just a little bit. That's not too blurry. Again, have a look. Pause it any way you like. This one here. Look at this one here. I mean, this is two things is happening here on this one. We either have this crater wall running right here and this is what we're seeing okay or this object here this pad is literally off the ground one of the two things is happening okay check this out look at the size of this i 
and look at this area right here. This object literally looks like it's like this. It's crowned over. Can you see that right there? Okay. And let me back this up so it doesn't get too grainy. And have a look at this stuff with your magnifier. Either eyepiece or magnifier, whatever it may be. Just the little things in between. Okay. I'll make it a little bit brighter and, and more sharper. Have a look. It's stuff, guys, this stuff is absolutely everywhere. It's awesome. Really, really cool stuff. And anybody who thinks that this stuff is like, oh, it's just all craters, you may want to research this a little bit more. That's all I can tell you. Um, now, I'm not saying there's no craters here. We've got craters everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's craters. But that doesn't mean they didn't build in the craters. Some people will doubt it. And you know what? The proof is right here in the photo, guys. I mean, how much proof do you need? Not sure if I mentioned this yet, but here it is. Look at this one. And this is the thing we were talking about earlier. Well, it looks like this. Like something like this, going like that. Kind of goes around this piece. Come on. Look at this stuff, guys. Look at this. I don't care about the craters. There's tons of them to see. I don't care about that. What I want to see is the actual anomalous stuff that is in these photos look at this right next to this structure here look at this stuff right here multi-level objects now we can't make out these clearly i had somebody tell me well you know you don't know these what these things are unless you're on the ground well that's absolutely true and i don't however i can tell the difference between something that looks intelligently made and something that looks like a, a, you know just your typical crater or hill, butte, whatever it may be. But you can see this right here. And then you can see this right here. It's clearly on a lower level. And you can see that. I don't know what the hell that is. But check this out. Something right there. And look at the way the, that thing has this area going like this. You see it's bright area around this so-called whatever that is. Okay. There was one of these other craters, and I hope I can find it. It was actually pretty interesting because it had, it was very bright, at least the, the crater rim. Oh, right here. Okay. Let me show you this. Right here. When you look at this, you go, okay, it looks like a crater rim to me. I don't have a problem with that. See that? That looks pretty interesting. Until you go to this area here, watch when you enhance it. It actually has a square piece sitting right there, and it's not just a crater wall. And you've got, again, we've got this here. Look at the way these things are. Like in the video I had, I just showed you guys. You guys, again, I'll give you the link to it. You can have a look. This and this were like super, super bright, like almost like they were giving off their own light, right? And you can see something that's really tall coming off this one. Almost looks like this weird butterfly shape thing going on here. But again, we got something that's coming out like this. Look at the way this thing is. And what it appears to be is off the ground. At least that's the appearance of it. And of course, we got this going like this. And again, I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. Right there, you can see it looks like this round circled item. And you can see the lines in it. I can see one, two, three. You can still see the ones in the back. Very, very faintly, but they're there. Absolutely they're there. I'm going to just back out a little bit and go from the bottom here. Pause it any way you like. I'm just going to go over this real quick. Just look at some of the stuff that's in here, guys. All this area down in the lower left. Just have a look. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and act like that and clean it up a little bit for you guys. Just have a look at it. These are the real structures of this moon, guys. Funky looking stuff that's just on this moon. And again, it's amongst all of these craters. Some of, a lot of the stuff built into craters. And it, you know, and it just, it's mind boggling. This is the reason why a lot of people think, well, the center of that crater is some kind of weird rock. I'm not so sure if it's a weird rock. Because of the features it has. Have a look at it all around this area.
this object right here on this big pad right here. And guys, just have a look at the bottom too over here, like over down here below it. Go ahead and sharpen it too. Some of the stuff is lunar uh, surface, guys. There's no doubt about that. But then there's many more things that are just laying all over the surface that clearly it's not natural. That's that's all there is to it. This whole area right here, have a look. Pause it right here. That's here's a little bit more sharpened up. Have a look. Have a look, guys. Tell me what you think is going on here. I'm seeing tons of structures. I do actually see a lot of lunar surface. I see a lot of uh, craters. I see a lot of uh, hills. Um, what look like, well, they'd be like moon or lunar buttes, right? I see all kinds of stuff like that. But I also see stuff that's in these craters. I see things that are on pads. These things are white pads. These are not craters. Um, you, you got weird looking stuff like this here, back here. This wide open area here, almost square like. Of course, it does do this. Guys, I couldn't name off everything that's in this uh, photo because it's just so much to see. There, there really is. There's the area right here. Top left. And like I said, guys, my other video I showed you, that has that tall structure in it. That is neat. You see this weird thing popping right off the ground here? Coming right out of the, the side. Come on, guys. What does that? Look at the way these things here branch off. Look at the design of this right here. I'm just going to go ahead and circle that. Look at the design of that. These things coming off the sides. It looks like some structure right in the middle. Anyway, guys, I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to let you guys decide. And I know you guys, a lot of you guys will pull this apart. As, and that's the way it should be done. Research this stuff for yourself. It's absolutely awesome to see. Let me do one last step here. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to, with the filters right here. Check this out. There you go, guys. You guys tell me what you think. Like I said, go back to the other video. Check this one out, too. If you want, watch the other one prior to this one. And then have a real good look. Because I'm going to tell you what. When you see the other video I did, plus this one here, it's just going to leave no doubt in your mind. There's structures everywhere in this moon. Now, again, a lot of what we see is a lot of craters. Like I said, hills, valleys, and everything else on the moon. It's what's in between and in these things that's fascinating. So you guys can check that out. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And please like and definitely share this video. This is stuff people need to see. I keep saying that because a lot of people, they go, yeah, yeah, I know about the moon. But they don't know what's exactly on the moon. You know, we see from the LRO, which is fantastic photos, crisp and clean. And then there's stuff we see that looks like it's all like this. I call it the mashed potato effect. It looks like all smooth and CGI'd. And you know it's absolutely trash, right? You can't have two different photos looking like that. It's either pretty darn clear or it's crap. And a lot of times they're trying to go over that stuff, the old Apollo uh, photos. And guys, you know as well as I do, they had the Hasselblad, cutting edge back then. And by the way, look them up today. They're still cutting edge, still phenomenal uh, cameras. So you can't tell me some of the stuff that looks CGI, oh, that the camera took that. No, 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 no. That camera's not going to take that trash. It's not going to take them kind of photos. It's going to be absolutely pretty pristine, but yet they just gave us the low-res garbage for us to see, just like they're doing with the Mars photos, right? It's no different. They've been doing that since the first photo was taken from the LRO and then the Apollo mission, so on and so forth. You guys give me a take, as always. Let me know what you think. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to jump out of here. Like I said, I got another Mars uh, video coming up, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you guys on the weekend. Peace.